Hey, what's up guys, Bobo here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy auto image. So, the things that you need to have on your uh, auto pick is the subscribe button and your previous video link. So, these are the two things that you have to put on your uh, auto image. So, this is my auto image, uh, that's what I did for me. You, uh, you don't have to put the last and next video like I did. Uh, you can just put a link to your previous video, and that's it. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty complicated to put like the, the videos in Sony Vegas. Um, it's not complicated, but it takes quite a bit of time every time I make a video to just place uh, my last and my next video. Um, you know, on the on the screen, it takes quite a bit of time. So you can just put a, you know, put a previous video link, then go into uh, the annotation tool um, on YouTube and just, you know, highlight this and put a link to your previous video. Uh, I did that for Simpsons, or for Simpsons, Simpsons, sorry, can't even talk right now. <laughs> I'm just trying to go really fast because I just recorded the video. It took me 24 minutes to explain you how to make a outro pick, so it was way too long. I'm gonna try to do it quickly and simple and try to be clear. So, um, that's the image I did for Census, that's his outro pick. Um, I choose a background from Mop, whatever background, it doesn't matter at all, you can use whatever background you want. The background is really not important at all. Um, all you, you need to make sure to uh, to put the subscribe button uh, brighter than the background. Uh, you don't want people to look more at the background than your, your links, okay? This is the most important thing, so remember that. Uh, other than that, you can put your character to the left, uh, or a character that you, uh, for your games, I don't know what game you play. Um, there's a million ways to make uh, outro pick, that's just what I do. I, I use a background from the game, and then I use a character. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you the, uh, how, to how to make the, uh, the outro pick. So this is the image um, uh, I used to my, uh, for my uh, outro pick, um, for my own one. Um, I'm gonna show you how to uh, put, it, put it darker and to then focus on the text and on the links. So, let's get started. Um, this is a, this, there's only one layer right now. This is the background. I'm gonna put some uh, grid and map effect, which is here in adjustment. You should have an adjustment uh, link somewhere here on the right side of, uh, of Photoshop. If not, you can go into Windows and select adjustment. It should pop out a window for you um, with the adjustment uh, tools. So yeah, now I'm gonna use the grid and map effect. I'm gonna click here. Um, a lot of people ask me how to only change uh, uh, how to have uh, all the uh, the adjustment layer uh, affect only one uh, only one layer uh, when I do backgrounds. Um, this is the this is the button I click. You go on the bottom of the adjustment layer. There's a button right there. You click it, and it put this little arrow pointing down, and it means that this adjustment layer is only affecting the uh, the layer that is right below it. So if I put another layer below my uh, my uh, background, it won't affect it. So you just click it, it will only affect this layer. So now I'm gonna put the black and white um, color. I'm going into the layer mode here. Well, I'm selecting this green and black effect. I go into overlay. I'm gonna reduce the opacity. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna reduce the opacity. Uh, sorry. And then uh, that's it. I'm gonna go into grid and map again. I'm gonna create a second one. I'm gonna link it to this image again. And I'm gonna select a, let's say, black. Ooh, I said black, sorry. And uh, blue, let's say bright blue. Actually, this blue. Uh, dark blue, all right. Like this, because there's some blue on the background and I think it will look cool. So I'm gonna go into overlay. Looks too bright right now. I'm gonna reduce the opacity a lot. And I'm gonna Kind of put it like this to like 44 percent all right so that's what it does see how it changed the texture and everything all right that looks cool um now i want to darken the border i want to put some uh, black around the border uh to make like a zoom effect on the text that i'm going to put so i'm going to go into the on the left here on the tool side i'm going to go into i'm going to select the gradient tool and I'm gonna select, I'm gonna go here in the presets and you should have something like this at the bottom. Probably the last one, or maybe it's not. Actually, I don't know. It depends on what the version you use, uh, Photoshop. So I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna go into the color and just, just wanna show you what it does. It's pretty much just a uh, kind of a shadow. Um, there's 
no big color like if I was selling to this one. Uh, it's pretty much just a uh, like kind of a PNG image. I'm gonna show you what it does. Uh, I'm gonna select this, create a new layer. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. And I'm gonna select the gradient tool. I'm gonna go into the middle of the image. I'm gonna try to select the middle of the image actually. Uh, not directly onto it, into it, but uh, whatever. Doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna hold shift and left click and drag it to the side like this. See what it does? Uh, it just kind of put like a zoom effect um, to the image. Um, that's what I want because I want you to zoom to what's going to be important in the image, which is the subscribe button. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so that's it. Um, you can even reduce the opacity. It doesn't have to be like super dark. Uh, you know, just small effect like this and well, it looks awesome. Um, so yeah, that's for the background. Um, you don't even have to do it actually. Depending on what image you use um, for the backgrounds, you can use whatever image you want, doesn't matter at all. So, um, okay, from here it's gonna go pretty fast because it's the most simple thing ever. It's pretty much just copy paste, copy paste, copy paste everywhere, right? Um, for the rest of the, of the background, um, I'm gonna make. I'm, I'm trying to go too fast right now, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna go here on the side and I'm gonna select the, uh, the rounded rectangle tool which is in the shape tool. So you just hold left click, select rounded rectangle. And then you're gonna go here, select black color. And you're gonna make a square kind of like this. And if you don't want to put the, like, I'm, I'm, right now I'm making a square to place a video. If you don't want to place a video on your uh, on your uh, outro because I'm telling you, you're gonna get like bored at some points because it takes a lot of time to put the video in the square. Um, so just, just, um, I, I would suggest you to just put like a small link like this, just a small square like this and you know, put it here and just type like next video, last video or like second previous video, I don't know. Um, but yeah, for, for the purpose of the video and just to fill the whole image, I'm gonna make a square, like on my, uh, on my uh, outro pic. So yeah, I'm gonna put it there, I'm gonna click in there, I'm gonna control J, okay, control J to duplicate it, uh, duplicate the image and I'm gonna drag it to the other side like this. I'm gonna duplicate again, reduce the size, put it in the middle. This is gonna be for the subscribe button. So the one to the left here is for the last video, uh, I mean next video. This is for the last video to the right. This is for the subscribe button in the middle. I'm gonna duplicate it again. Oops, I forgot to click enter. Sorry. Enter. All right, duplicate. Gonna put it on top here. Maybe uh, resize it a little bit, make it bigger. All right, reposition it. Click Enter. Duplicate it again. Drag it to the bottom. Make it uh, go all the way to the right of the screen, to the left of the screen, to fill the whole bottom part. Click Enter, and uh, there you go, guys. I'm gonna. Click on my uh, the, the, the top re rectangle here. I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna select my last rectangle that I did. All right, and I'm gonna left click. Now I have every single rectangle I did selected. And I'm, re I'm gonna reduce the opacity to say 70, 70%. Okay. 70% looks fine. All right, and there you go, guys. Most of the job is done. Um, now all you have to do, oh, I had when it does that, it glitched right there, hmm, that sucks, whatever. Um, all right, now you need to make the text. To make the text, it's really simple. You just uh, select a font. I like to use Colvetica. You can download it from dafont.com. Uh, if you're wondering what font I use most, it's this font, looks pretty cool. So now you just type subscribe. Now it's all black so you don't see it. 
let's put it white so that you guys can see it. All right, and um, I'm gonna change the size to 80%. I mean, uh, no, 90. Let's put it super big. Wow, I'm having some trouble with Photoshop. It clears there's like this stuff here. That sucks. It doesn't look cool at all. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, anyway, now we have your text. Uh, you want to apply the effects right now, okay? I'm gonna tell you the three effects you need. You need Bevel and Boss, Stroke Effect, and. Um, what's the last effect? Shit, I forgot. Okay. <laughs> Let's check it real quick. Okay, Bevel, Stroke, and. Gradient overlay. Sorry, I forgot. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start with the gradient overlay. For the subscribe button, you want to make it super bright, so it's gonna be like um, it's gonna be like orange. If your um, I don't know if your background is orange already, I would suggest you to make it maybe like an opposite color to it, like make it blue, <laughs> just so that people like see it well. Um, so yeah, just select a orange color if it's just like the background is not orange so I'm gonna select a bright orange and then for the second color I'm gonna select a kind of yellow yellow orange color kind of almost the same color okay um, just so that you know it looks a little bit different but you know just just keep uh, the orange color so that's for the gradient overlay then um, second second um, the effect I'm gonna put is gonna be the bevel and embos. Uh, I'm gonna put the size to two, and just gonna reduce the depth to like uh, almost like nothing actually. Just so that you see like kind of the borders. I'm gonna put the stroke effect. I'm gonna put it to one, and the opacity to one one hundred percent. So I'm gonna show you my settings real quick. You can pause the video if you just want to copy them. Um, so you know the color for the gradient overlay. Pavel and Bows is the depth is to 103%. The size is to 2%. Soften 0%. I'm gonna uncheck the use global light and I'm gonna use a 53 angle. Um, that's it. You don't touch these settings. Uh, you don't even have to uh, so I uncheck this uh, this box. Except if you use some inner shadow and uh, drop shadow and you want to change the angle of the shadow, which I don't think you will. But in case you do, uncheck the use global light. Um, yeah, so that's it. You click OK and you're pretty much done. You're almost done. So you're gonna copy paste the text, the subscribe actually. You're gonna put it here, Control J, duplicate it, put it here. And now I'm gonna show you what to do. You're gonna go into your first, uh, your first, the first copy you did of the subscribe button. You're gonna change the layer uh, the green and overlay to another color. I'm gonna select a green and white, uh, green and uh, green text. I mean, green overlay uh, color. And uh, you're gonna right click to the text, copy layer style. Okay, right click, go down here, copy layer style. Select your second copy of the subscribe button and paste layer style. All right, so you just need to change the color and that's it. So um, that you know, like this is the only uh, bright color on your screen, so that the subscribe buttons pop up. And then uh, you're gonna type like last video. That's it. Position it. So you're gonna do the same thing for this one. Um, previous video, previous video, video, and then you can uh, duplicate it again, put it on top here, and put let's say like, share, comment, and reduce the size to a lot to like. Too small. That's what she said. Sorry. Sixty percent. Uh. All right. So you almost done, guys. All you have to do is then again, the gate, bring it to the bottom, 
and put your links so let's see facebook facebook.com slash pull editing uh, by the way go follow me on facebook please <laughs> uh and same thing for twitter let's say you put it here If you have my JFX pack, you can even go select the social media icons and put the icons here with like a uh, with a glowy effect, like I did here. And uh, you know, you duplicate. You just I don't know. You put your sky, your email. Uh, it doesn't matter. You, know, you put whatever links you want or whatever seems important to you uh, on the bottom here you put all your links there and you're, you're pretty much pretty much done uh, you can't even put the character here now uh, if you want to know how i did like the, the how i changed the color of this character i'm going to show you how it looks normally um this is all the character looks normally without any effects um if you want to know how i changed the texture and how i changed uh, you know uh, the whole, you know the whole color. Now I did a correction of this uh, character. Just go check out my uh, well model. Um, that well model of yours. I was about to say well model of yours. Is the character model and texture improvement? I think it's one of my tutorials. I think the thumbnail is like a shaman casting a spell. So um, yeah, go check it out. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the link somewhere on the screen. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. You don't even have to look for it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you guys uh, like the result. I hope you will have a great uh, outro. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you have any question, um, just put them in the comments. Send me an inbox uh, if I haven't been clear enough on on certain points. Um, just ask the question in the comment. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video, my next, uh, or in my next tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like show you a clip of a outro video. If you want to um, know how to make a outro video uh, with After Effects, um, just let me know in the comment, and I'll make one. Uh, I'm gonna show you the outro vid I did for my uh, my future PvP video, because yeah, I'm gonna start to make some uh, PvP video. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.